things that uh, woke you up this morning. How about the magnitude 3.6 earthquake that struck in El Cerrito, north of Berkeley? It started at 3:30. Well, didn't start. It was at 3:39 a.m. on the Hayward Fault. Devin Feely spoke with one man who caught the quake on camera. It was a very strong and sudden jolt, abrupt. The security cameras at Andrew Shalaby's El Cerrito home captured the quake, which rattled the refrigerator and cabinets in the kitchen and shook the Christmas tree and ornaments in the living room. I didn't know what happened. It felt like a bomb went off. Everything shook. Not like a rolling earthquake that starts kind of gradual and rolls. This just was abrupt instantly, and it felt a whole lot stronger than a 3.6. According to the USGS, the epicenter of the quake was located in El Cerrito, not far from Andrew's home. The shaking, however, was felt far and wide, across the bay in San Francisco and up and down the peninsula. According to the map, it was just barely a couple of blocks north of our house. In modern life, there are cameras all around us recording all the time, and many of them caught the shaking, too. These images are from the Audubon Society and their Osprey Cam near the Bay Bridge. It's a little hard to make out, but inside that red circle is the bird. He takes off as soon as the shaking starts. You get an even better view from the nest itself. Andrew says it's a powerful reminder that we live in earthquake country and need to be ready when the big one comes. Now we have a reminder. We've had this earthquake and we've had a few, a few uh, over the years. A couple of years ago, we had another one like this one. So I think it's inevitable sooner or later we're going to have quite a, a big one. So you felt it. Um, I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. Yeah, I didn't you feel were the closest it. one to it. And there are some important things to discuss here. A 3.6 only tells you a small part about this earthquake. First of all, it was only three miles deep. We consider any earthquake that is up to 40 miles deep in its origination as shallow. This was three miles. This was very shallow. So the guy in the story said it sure felt like much more than a 3.6. A, he was right on top of it. This was centered in El Cerrito, and this was a very shallow earthquake. So instead of just talking about what it registered on the Richter scale at a 3.6, which is how we so often talk about these things, most importantly, you can also put it on the shaking intensity map because this tells you the other half of the story. Because if there's going to be damage or effects on our lives here on the surface, this is probably what would matter more. And you can report to the USGS if you felt it. A lot of people did. Those reports then go through an algorithm, and they get put into a very structured scale. And if you look at the color shading on the map here, it's widely felt. But even at that, it's still widely felt weak to moderate. We don't have any reports of damage from this. But a lot of people got woken up by this, especially if you were anywhere over here and you know if you live over there, you are right on the Hayward Fault. And just in the last two years, we talked about another earthquake centered in El Cerrito about the same intensity. So these have been fairly common and, and expected.